Well, on Daily Business tonight, we will talk a little bit about the Middle East and situation over there. Our correspondent uh, from the region is Paweł Rakowski. Sir, welcome to the show. Hello. And we'll talk you. about money. This is a business show, so it very much concerns the money, the currency, and who invented the money. The Phoenicians and the their Phoenicians, yeah, the direct the, descendants are today's Maronites of Lebanon. Yeah, uh, in, the, in, the, in the town Jibail, uh, Byblos. Uh, Jibail known for the Semites, Byblos known for the Greeks. Because in the same time, the, uh, the, in the same city, there was not only money invented, but also alphabet, alphabet which we are still using till today. No matter, is it in the Arabic or in the Hebrew or in the Greek or in the Latin, no matter. The, the very idea that you need few signs that uh, are related to the speech rather than ideographic um, symbols. But this is not really the topic of this discussion. This discussion is about money and uh, how the business, uh, Middle East business is under Donald Trump's watch in the United States because we see a lot of unheard of improvements. Yeah, first of all, we have to um, uh, four years of the President Donald Trump was without a war. Just uh, we, uh, just we can look back what happened in, in, uh, in 2014, 2015, 2013, whatever. Uh, the, um, uh, the region was under uh, turmoil, was uh, under constant threat of, of another um, explosion. And uh, suddenly in 2020, we see, okay, okay there is a coronavirus. There was a, a tension between uh, Iran, Israel. There was a tension between uh, I Iran and Saudi the Arabia, but what we can see, there, they have, the, the Iranian currency is, uh, has collapsed. Uh, the, therefore, the Iranian project, which uh, the geopolitical project, which goes from the uh, from the Kabul up to the Beirut, it's a it's a bankrupt. It's a totally bankrupt. There is uh, there is uh, no possible uh, Iranians cannot um, uh, supply it with the money. And in the and the Middle East, it's a it's a very beautiful area where there is uh, the ideology is not important. Only the money is important. So if if so if they cannot support. Uh, uh, if the Iranian can support the, the project, it means that even their allies are looking on the in a different direction. Um, a few weeks ago, the the, the the talks between Israel and Lebanon started on the marine uh, border. Uh, what is very very important? Uh, those those talks are held in the. Nakura town. Uh, it's on the Israeli Lebanese border on the Lebanese side and. Everyone knows that uh, on this territory, not only the uh, Israelis are guests, but not only the Unifil United, for, United Nations Army is a guest, but also um, uh, Beirut representatives are, uh, are a guest. So, so, uh, so yes, uh, because this is the area co controlled by Hezbollah. So um, you know, we can see that uh, there is a, there was a, or there is a big business opportunity uh, to make not only the peace, but only, but also to make the uh, possibility of the. Um, uh, of the uh, business gains, uh, first of all, because of the gas in the med uh, Mediterranean. Second, as, uh, as, I, as I had uh, mentioned, there is um, uh, the Iranian uh, currency has uh, has, uh, has fallen. Tur Turkish, the same is fallen. Lebanese also also is fallen. So the uh, the philosophy that uh, the which presented Donald Trump that not to bomb, but to start the problem seems uh, seems to uh, seems to be a, a key role for the for, for for all this region because as we can see, look on the Iran, Iranians are not afraid of the. Um, they, they are, the Iranian ayatollahs, they, they, they wish now for the, any uh, strike on Tehran or whatever, because uh, they have so much inside problem that, the, uh, that their own people are pointing them uh, with the fingers as the main responsible for, uh, for, for their misery. Not, on, not, not looking on America, not looking on Israel, not, not, not looking anywhere, just looking on the inside regimes. Um, well, and what is very also important, uh, Donald Trump a few years ago, as, as he started his presidency he said that in the Middle East they, they are um, in the, especially in the Gulf, in the Gulf area they are uh, moderate uh, and constructive regimes. 
everyone was looking what about what what regimes he was talking about but we can see that after after this years especially uh, Saudi Arabia or United uh, Arab Emirates or also Bahrain they are looking for the for the something called, for constructive solution of the not only the political problems but also because of the economical problems Middle East we know that one that that that, that soon very soon the, the day that the oil will uh, will be stopped being beneficial Official will come very soon, and Middle East need, needs to find solution. Um, so, so, and they are looking for this solution. And uh, the, this so solution goes by the peace, and uh, by and by the um, uh, development, and by the improvement, not on not, uh, not on the chaos, not on the uh, um, struggles, not on the Islamic radicalism. And this is after the years and years of wars. We have uh, two or three decades of the constant war in the area. And now very unlikely person, Donald Trump, has brought peace to the region. The question is whether the next administration will follow up this uh, developments or they will try to do something Obama style, giving up um, the Syria or Unfortunately, unfortunately, we have a uh, we have a sign. Although miracle miracle can, can happen, yeah. We are talking about Middle East, it's a holy land, yes. So uh, miracles, uh, but uh, but realistically, the, the, the Donald Trump. Um, well, the, the, we we know that uh, Democrats in the White House means problems, means uh, big problems. We can look look first on on Israel. We know what uh, what kind of politicians uh, Benjamin Netanyahu. Nobody likes him. But first of all, he is strong enough to to make uh, certain uh, geopolitical projects, which, as I, which, as I said, are very beneficial for everyone. Uh, this means a gas business, yes, uh, and and uh, and uh, and uh, political and military ally, alliance with uh, Saudi Arabia, which is uh, which is going to, which is uh, directed against Turkey and against Iran and further against the Chinese influence in this region. Right. This right, is the right. we and uh, who and who who are the biggest opponents in Israel? Uh, who are the biggest BB's opponents in Israel? Benny Gantz. He is not politician. He is not experienced enough, even even in his own domestic um, uh, uh, political scenery. Uh, Naftali Bennett, let, let's forget about this man for a second. They, they uh, said that if Donald Trump was. Uh running for office in Israel, he would win 80% yeah. of majority. Yeah, and, and, and Paweł and Rakowski, and our and Middle East and correspondent. And Thank you very much for this conversation. Our time is up, unfortunately, but that was it for tonight. Uh, tomorrow, we'll be back at the same time, so please tune in and don't forget Poland Daily Business.